All right, welcome to Wreck. This is another 616 game. I haven't seen anyone play this one yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen here. It looks like it's some kind of a video camera game where you're looking through the lens of a camera most of the time. So I, I'm a fan of found footage. Uh, I have been for a long time, so I'm looking forward to this one. Let me read you the itch synopsis here. It says, Myers, a police investigator, receives a VHS tape. This tape is evidence of a crime found in an old abandoned house that belonged to a serial killer known as the Scythe Maniac. Ooh, I like it. The Scythe Maniac. Um, there's been plenty of knife killers and all kinds of saw and axe people, but a scythe, that's a little bit more creative. So I'm really excited for this. Let me start a new game. Oh yes, I'm I'm absolutely sure this time. 616 games. Let me bring the volume up just a little bit. I think there's going to be some intro music as usual though. Wreck. Hmm. I'm already wondering where we are starting off today. Those are some crazy mountains. The forest. Ooh. Ominous sky. I'm sure there's a giant supermoon up there somewhere. Hey, Purr in chat. How are you doing today, Purr? How is Thailand? Or Cambodia. How is Cambodia? I'm sorry. All these special, special people to thank. Okay, the mouse is a little sensitive. We'll take care of that. I don't know about that ringing phone. Let's go PS2 filter. It's always the clearest one for us. Okay. I'm gonna bring the volume on this game up at least to 60-ish for now. It's hard. It's really hard to gauge the correct volume for these 616 games. They're all over the place. But that's true for all PSX games, so. Maybe I'll bring it up a little higher. Let's go to 70 just to make sure. Cambodia burning hot. I bet. Uh, is it ever cold? That's my question for you. Okay, there's a bloody tape here. There's abstract art with these wonderful colors that just... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting choice of colors. Oh, uh, as usual, a fully tiled bathroom from floor to ceiling. Uh, this clock was in a couple of other 616 games, and it's always like uh, that time. <laughs> uh, what, was, what was ringing? The phone. The phone was ringing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, uh, let's see. Purse says, we had hail once. It broke my mom's windshield. Oh, my God. That's huge hail. Like, baseball size hail that's crazy detective myers how can i help you good evening myers sorry to call you so late my name is joel i'm an investigator no problem joel why are you calling we found a videotape in the abandoned house of the scythe maniac the contents of the tape scared me oh did they Scythe Maniac? Wasn't he executed 10 years ago? Yes, but a young man decided to film the place at night and disappeared. All we found was this tape. Okay, can I watch this tape? This was the reason for my call. I left the tape in your office. Careful, it's very disturbing. I'll look into it and call you later. See you later, Joel. Thanks for the help. I'm really not well enough to deal with this case. I hope Joel isn't the scythe killer. I'm already calling that right now. I hope he's not the scythe killer. Um, I would be curious, to be honest. That's I would be morbidly curious as to what's on this tape if it actually came from, you know, someone who was called the scythe killer. I mean, it'd be horrible to look at, and I probably wouldn't watch the whole tape, but I'd be curious to, to know what actually is on it. So, is this the tape? Is this my office? This looks more like my house. No, I guess there's no bed. 
I guess I have a small studio office. Well, it's almost midnight, so... And it's a Friday. I'm really happy that it's a Friday. Uh, I had a long uh, week at work helping many students because it's almost finals week. And I was just up, actually, um, uh, correcting a paper just until recently. So I'm going to watch this Scythe Killer tape, and this is going to make me feel better. I think. Ooh. Okay. Yes, a roof? Or, no, not a roof. This is the front of a house. Testing, testing. Starting recording. Ooh, hey guys. Today I took courage. I took courage? Per oh, <laughs> Today we're going to explore the most macabre place I've ever been. We are in the house of the famous serial killer known as Scythe Maniac. He killed over 100 people in this house, mostly men. He used a scythe to split the victim's body and bodies in half using the organs to feed himself. The Scythe Maniac was arrested, tried and sentenced to death in the electric chair in 1975. The house has been abandoned for 10 years and nobody has the courage to come here at night. Some people have already disappeared after trying to explore the place at night. So let's go. Let's, let's explore the house and test the new camera with night vision. That doesn't sound like the best idea. I mean... Uh, wait, Purr says, I want another bromance between killer and victim. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that was the... Uh, um, trash, trash night or trash day or something, right? Per when we were trying to investigate the knife killer, and there was a strange tension between uh, the killer and uh, the other, the dude we <laughs> were gonna kill. Wait, uh, maybe I shouldn't go in this side. Let's let's go in. Is that the only way in? Yeah, that's the only way in. The house of the scythe killer, huh? How interesting. Um, many boxes. We entered the house. The energy inside is very heavy. Creepy. I think my headphones are too loud. That's what I think. I think I'm going to get a good, good jump scare at some point. This house is slowly being destroyed, being swallowed up by nature. Oh, yeah. Somehow it's not as scary when you see it through the lens of a camera because there's some kind of filter between you and what's going on. What is this? What do I see here? Ah, just newspaper clippings and little pieces of paper. What else is in here? Trash. There's plenty of trash. A mountain of trash. Um... This door should lead to the basement. That's where the maniac tortured and killed most of the people. Jam door. I need something to remove the wood. I mean, this is cool and all. I don't know if I'd do this myself, like by myself personally. If I was with a group of people, um, I'm sure that'd be cool. We arrived on the second floor. I confess that I'm scared to death. Yeah? I would be too. I think anyone would be. Even just being out in the middle of the woods at night by yourself is scary enough. But no. Okay, I need to finish something to open the basement door. I need to find something to open the basement door. Yeah, yeah, we're looking. We're looking. Ew, that's, that's pretty bad toilet. I've seen some bad toilets, but this is pretty bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, Purr, are you feeling better? You said you got sick, right? Hopefully you're feeling better. Uh, did I... I'm gonna check everything just so I don't have to backpedal here. I'm guessing we're gonna be looking for a crowbar? Let's see, let's see.
There's nothing obvious, right, that I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing something if I had to come up here. Uh, something stuck in a wall somewhere, like a hammer or some kind of tool. Let's see. Uh, do I have an inventory? Nope, I don't. Hang on. I'm gonna check. I need something to remove the wood. I I, my feet are so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, fuck. Good thing I turned it down. <laughs> Shit, now I'm stuck in here. That was close. That was close. Uh, is there a way out? Is there another way? Go out the window, man. Oh, it's boarded up. Uh, okay, we'll go back upstairs because that's where we're being forced. Real slow. Um... Yo, is anyone up here? Anybody? Hello? I mean... There are only so many places I can go in here, right? I think it's wanting you to like pace around this place. I'm clicking on everything, by the way. Let's keep looking. Good lord. Oh, there's a ladder. When did, when did this pop up? I didn't see this before. Did I? Well, uh, okay. Well. Oh, there we go. The old Half-Life 2 crowbar. Let us go into the basement where they slaughtered hundreds of people with a scythe. That's how I like my Friday nights. All right. Remove, remove. Oh, we got the E button. E, re e removes, E does it. Can I remove these to get myself out? No. Basement. The hell is that noise? Oh shit, what is that noise? My headphones are still too loud. I heard Oh whoa, is that my that's maybe that's me. Maybe that's me. Whoa shit. Just fell right down in here. Great, there's a bedroom down here. This is great. Oh no, something's here it comes. Oh no. What, what don't I have the Oh I can duck in. That's right. Shit, the blood looks fresh. It does, doesn't it? It does. It looks it looks new. The flies uh are everywhere. How many we have? One, two. Whoa. There were tools he used to torture his victims. Or these were the tools he used. A couple of mallets, some knives, a bunch of skulls. Uh. My god, the smell here is unbearable. Is it? Gross. This place is gross. Let's leave. We got, we got our footage. Let's let's get out of here. 
And let's collect our jump scare that's inevitably coming for us. Okay. That oh, oh, shit! That was so... Okay. <laughs> shit, I need to get out of here. Yeah, I do. You know, that volume needs to come down. Huh? <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so loud. Yes, yes, yes. I'm. How do I get out? How do I get out when you're not letting me out? Oh boy. Uh. Oh wait, wait. Kick, 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 kick. Shit, shit, hurry up. Kick, kick, kick. Kick. It's not showing the prompt. I think it's timed. Kick. I'm not gonna look behind me. I'm not, I don't do that. Cool. Phew. What the fuck is going on? I need to get out of here now. You think? Uh, there's still more. There's still more. I'm gonna turn down just a little bit. Just a little bit. That was... Absolutely frightening what happened right there. <laughs> All right. That was fun. Oh no. It's you. No! Oh. oh no. So that was in 1985. I was not even born yet. Wow. Huh. What the fuck happened there? I'm going to check it out. I'm going to go check it out. What do you mean you're going to go check it out? I guess I'm a detective and I have a gun. So that's good. But, uh, I, hmm. Well, I guess if you're looking for a break in a case, that is, it will definitely give you a break in the case. If you're looking to apprehend a, a famous serial killer. No, they're supposed to be dead though, right? So this might be a copycat or something like that that we're looking for. It was loud. Loud car start. Oh, that was fast. But yes, as usual, if you got this far in the video... Thank you so much for clicking on it, and thanks for helping my little channel grow. It's it's getting up there, and we're trying to get to 400, and we're about like 350-ish. And yeah, and that's all because of you and your support, and it really makes me happy to be able to sit down and play these games with you all, and um, just see what these you know smaller developers are doing, and what they're making, because I think a lot of these ideas are really cool, and it's, I don't know, it's just fun to see uh, what people think nowadays is scary and you can see the influence of a lot of old movies and uh, things like that and it's it's just so much fun to play these little games so thank you uh, like if you like it follow if you really really like it and uh, you don't have to do that of course if you don't want but thanks for clicking on the video anyway and then I always say that before I go to my death because I'm going there now Hello, is there someone here? The thing I like about 616 games is they have like pretty sturdy like uh, shooting mechanics. I feel like this is straight out of CS or something. <gasps> I had limited bullets? Oh no. <laughs> and usually in 616 games you have infinite bullets. Maybe we can reload? Q to drag. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, I don't want to block the exit. This, that, but that would suck if I screwed myself. Like, like we need to shoot the killer. Is there a way to reload this gun? I'm serious. 
<laughs> I might have I might have screwed myself. Well, maybe it's not, you know, directly just the blood looks fresh. What blood? I don't see any blood. Oh, that blood. I suppose it does. Uh I suppose it does. Shit, it was crazy to come to this place at night. Did I say that? I mean, I should know who's crazy enough to do that. That's me. Can I reload my gun at the cop car? Because I stupidly shot it all, testing it. Give me, give me bullets. Give me bullets, please. Ah, damn. Well, I'm apologizing ahead of time if I screwed this whole narrative up because I shot the bullets. I swear, in all other 616 games, you have infinite bullets. That's no fun. Hmm. This place gives me chills. Yeah, especially with no bullets in the gun. Definitely freaks me out a little bit. Ew. Why does everything have to be so icky? Oh, God. It's even worse in the normal light. Oh, God. It's like 10 out of 10. Worst toilet. I guess I'm supposed to walk around. Some more up into the attic here. Uh, uh, I don't know what that sound is. Well, no one's here. I guess we can leave. Because nobody is here. Let's go downstairs. We're going down. Uh, oh, okay. Of course it opens. Ominous sound? That's okay. Hello? I'm a policeman. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, is he still alive? Me, my god, are you still alive? I'll get him out of here. Henry, I, I, there's no saving me anymore. You need to finish him off. Who is he? The maniac died ten years ago. He returned. You need to burn his bones. This is the only way to stop him. Burn his bones? Burn, bones don't burn well. And how can I do this? I don't know where he was buried. He was buried behind the house. It was his last request. He needs to be burned fast. I'll do it. This son of a bitch is causing enough trouble. I left my backpack outside. It has gasoline and a lighter. Don't look at it. If you look at it, it'll kill you. Left my backpack outside. Gasoline and a lighter. Oh no. gasoline and a lighter and we have to burn this guy we can't look at him okay just don't look at his face I can do that keep your eyes on the ground don't look at his face whoa 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 I'm not looking at his face I see him I see his feet right there oh my god he's holding the scythe and everything he's right there yo where's the uh Backpack. Out back, right? Round back. Oh my god, what the fuck? I didn't look at his face. Did I did any of you see his face? I didn't see his face. I it really wants me to just look at the ground.
stupid scythe killer. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't see your face. I don't see it. Oh. Can I step on him? Can I, like, walk on him? I'm not looking at his face. Behind the house, it said. Behind it. There's a backpack. There's a lighter. I need to dig. You'll burn. Dig. 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 Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, dig. Dig, 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 dig. Man, hurry up. There's a radiated corpse in it. What the hell? Are we gonna comment on? Oh no, that no, that's where he's burned. We have to burn his bones. That's right. Burn. Okay, Mr. Scythe Man. Burn, you son of a bitch. Shouldn't you dump it out of the thing? Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Did we do it? Maybe we did it. <laughs> it just drives right into the trees. Is he gonna, he gonna burn? Oh. Hmm. I guess he didn't. Very interesting. Let me turn this down. Hang on. Okay, let's turn it down to there. All right. Well, that was Wreck uh, by 616 Games. That was a pretty short one for them, I would say. Let me see. We've only been streaming for like 27 minutes. Usually their games go about, I don't know, 30 to 40 sometimes over an hour i know the lighthouse ones um endless days they each went over an hour each um this one was short and i think this one was unique too i do like the camera overlay that they used the green filter made it extra creepy um they had some really good jump scares in this one i think half it had to do with the volume of my headphones but uh, as usual with 616 stuff, I think they have really good time with a lot of the jump scares. Usually I don't expect them, but they're in a place where you would expect to see a jump scare. I know most of the time I predicted them, but I think the way they do them uh, is they're just really loud <laughs> and it still gives me anyway. So they were good. Good jump scares. Um, a good simple story. Uh, so at the end, I guess we burned his bones and he still didn't die i wonder where the burn his bones kind of lore um came from to, to me it kind of reminded me a little bit of the freddy krueger lore right <laughs> something about i think the the people he was like a child killer or something so they all got together and burned his body um so yeah having to burn his remains seemed a little I don't know, that's kind of a stretch, but it reminded me of that for some reason. Um, so, I think it could have been a little bit longer, to be honest. There probably could have been a little bit more build-up. And maybe after burning the bones or something like that, maybe there's another layer um, of, of stuff that would happen with the Scythe Killer. Because for I really got the vibe that I would actually have to do survival horror stuff and like run away from him in that house. Um, and what happened to, was Henry, was it? Uh, that was interesting. Um, I wish Henry could have told us more lore about him, like why he needed to burn the bones and, uh, who knows, like maybe he had his camera there and stuff like that. Maybe we could have picked up his camera or picked up another tape from that camera and saw even more kind of revealing uh, stuff about the scythe killer 
because so the scythe killer was dead and had been dead right and he was buried there in like 1975 so what was up with the ghosts still being able to kill people? Was it somebody impersonating him? Or was it actually this the ghost coming back to life and killing people? It would have been interesting if it was um, like, you know, the guy I talked to, like my boss or something, if he knew about the case and he was like infatuated with the case trying to solve it. And while doing that, uh, maybe he would become the new scythe killer. Or maybe the guy with the camera was so infatuated with the lore of the scythe killer that he would find the scythe maybe in the house or buried in the backyard or something like that. Or yeah, he'd dig up the remains of the scythe killer and then take the scythe and then become the new scythe killer too. I think those are things that would have been interesting to see. Um, so although it was a little bit short and the jump scares, those jump scares were pretty good. Yeah, I felt the narrative like had some room to expand and connect a bit more uh but still this is uh, a pretty good 616 game i would say i think this one cost me a dollar again not a bad dollar but i think maybe just a little a touch more game in this one um could have made you know the lore of the scythe killer kind of hit a bit harder and they had some opportunities to do it too uh, I really wish the sound levels would be normalized in these games. Maybe there are towards the, maybe the newer releases are, but I just know the further you go back, the more all over the place they are. So I apologize to anyone who had their ears blown out by any of those jump scares. Uh, I'll try to try to see if I can negate any of that. Uh, it's, it's hard though. So yeah, I liked it. I was kind of hesitant to play this one because it, um, was all green and the screen grabs from it and I was like I don't know if I feel like walking around with a video camera right now but as usual I was happy I clicked on it and decided to play it because the narrative was interesting so that was Wreck by 616 and if you like these kinds of short little games that are around 20 to 40 minutes or something like that definitely check their stuff I've been loving their stuff and that's what I've been defaulting to when I know I need to play something that's going to be streamable for like 20 minutes or something like that and also have an interesting story it's a gamble sometimes with these psx games sometimes they have no story sometimes they can last forever and be way too long and sometimes i don't know sometimes it's all just jump scares which is fun but also survival horror can be repetitive and sometimes not fun to play or watch and have to chop it up so the easier the better but yeah anyway 616 is still um giving out some really good stuff so i'll keep on playing it again thank you for watching and i'll see if i can find another one who knows who knows maybe i will play another game tonight <laughs> uh, it's still kind of early but yeah thanks again for your support and see you later see you at the next one